Today we're going to talk about context clues and using context to understand word meanings. First, let's talk about context. The definition of context is the text around a new word. The function is that context helps us understand meaning. Here's an example. We went inside to escape the frigid temperatures. We instantly felt so warm and cozy. The new word in these sentences is frigid. If you didn't know this word, you could use the context around it to guess the meaning. The context is everything around the new word. Let's talk about clues. The definition of clues is pieces of information that help us understand something. Examples. Detectives and investigators use clues to solve crimes. Doctors use clues to solve medical problems. And readers use clues from context to understand words and details. Put it all together and we get context clues. The definition of context clues is pieces of information in the text that help readers understand words and details. Let's talk about types of context clues. Today we're going to learn about five types of context clues that you can see when you're reading. Each type of context clue helps you understand the meaning of a new word. The first type of context clue we'll learn about is a definition. A definition is the exact meaning of a word. For example, the definition of the word rapid is with quick speed. The next type of context clue we'll learn about is synonym. A synonym is a word that means the same thing. For example, a synonym of rapid is fast. Fast and rapid mean the same thing. The third type of context clue we'll learn about is an antonym. An antonym is a word that means the opposite. For example, the opposite or antonym of rapid is slow. The fourth type of context clue we're going to study today is cognate. A cognate is a word that sounds and means the same thing in two languages. For example, in English, the word rapid is a cognate of rápido in Spanish. They sound similar and they mean the same thing. And finally, the fifth type of context clue that we'll study today is examples. Examples are things that demonstrate a word meaning. Examples of rapid things include jets, speedboats, and bullet trains. Let's look at a few more examples of context clues. So, we remember that a definition is the exact meaning of a word. The definition of the word, for example, giant, is very big in size. How about a synonym of giant? Remember that a synonym is a word that means the same thing. So one synonym of giant is enormous. Antonym. Remember that an antonym is a word that means the opposite. So an antonym of giant is small. Cognate. Remember that cognates are words that sound and mean the same thing in two languages. So, for example, giant in English is a cognate of gigante in Spanish. They sound similar and they mean the same thing. And finally, examples. Things that demonstrate a word meaning. Planets and stadiums are examples of giant things. Now let's practice using context clues to find word meanings. To do this, we're going to read several sentences and questions about them. We'll answer the questions using what we've learned about context clues. Let's do the first one together. The plan was clandestine. Alex might not do it because he hates secret activities. Question one, what does clandestine mean? A, open, B, hidden, or C? active. Let's find the answer to this example together. 
There are two big clues in this context that help us understand the meaning of clandestine. Let's look at what they are. Clue one, Alex might not do it. This means Alex might not do the plan that's clandestine. Here's the reason he might not do it. The reason he might not do the clandestine plan is because he hates secret activities. So, if Alex hates secret activities and therefore might not do the plan, what does that tell us about the plan? It tells us that the plan is a secret activity. If that's true, let's return to question one. What does clandestine mean? The meaning is similar to secret. So, is it A, open, B, hidden, or C, active? Which word is closest to the word secret? B, hidden is the closest to the word secret, and that is what clandestine means. Next, number two, which context clue shows the meaning of clandestine? A, a synonym, B, an antonym, or C, an example? A synonym, secret. Secret and clandestine are synonyms. Number three, she thinks the house is valuable, but this is incorrect. The house is worthless. What does worthless mean? A, inaccurate, B, not valuable, or C, strange? Think about the context clues that can help you answer this question. She thinks the house is valuable, but this is incorrect. So if that's incorrect, what does that mean about the house? Let's look at the answer. B, not valuable. The reason is because she thinks the house is valuable, but is incorrect or wrong. The house is not valuable, it is worthless. Worthless means not valuable. Number four, which context clue shows the meaning of worthless? A synonym, B, an antonym, or C, examples. Look at the context. Do you see a pair of synonyms or a synonym to worthless? Do you see an antonym to worthless? Or do you see examples of things that are worthless? The answer is B, an antonym. The antonym of worthless is valuable. Now it's possible that you thought the answer was C, examples, because we do see one example of something worthless, which is the house. But in this case, we see that examples, item C, ends in an S. That means we would need more than one example in the context, and we only have one which is house. So the correct answer in this case cannot be C. It must be B. Five, my sister wants to study astronomy in college. Which context clue shows the meaning of astronomy? A, examples, B, a definition, or C, a cognate? To find the answer to this question, we can study the context. See if you can spot an example, a definition, or a cognate that helps you. The answer is C, a cognate. Remember that a cognate is a word that sounds similar or the same and means the same thing in two different languages. In Spanish language, astronomía is a cognate of astronomy. Also, in Russian language, astronomia is a cognate of astronomy in English. Other languages also have cognates for astronomy. Number six, what is the meaning of astronomy? 
A. The study of space, B. The study of earth, or C. The study of living things. If you have a cognate in your own language, then you might already know the meaning. The answer is A, the study of space. Number seven, objects like the sun are so luminous that it is difficult to look directly at them. What is the meaning of luminous? A, light, B, large, or C, far away? The answer is A, light. We could guess that answer using context clues. Number eight, which context clue shows the meaning of luminous? A, a cognate, B, a synonym, or C, an example? Let's reread the sentence to see. Objects like the sun are so luminous that it is difficult to look directly at them. Do you see a cognate in the sentence, a synonym, or an example? The answer is C, an example. The example that we see is the sun. The sun is an example of a thing that is luminous. From that, we can guess that it is very light and therefore difficult to look at. Number nine. This is our last question about context clues today. She feels lethargic or unusually tired and unable to move around, which is one symptom of the flu. Which context clue shows the meaning of lethargic. A, a cognate, B, a definition, or C, an example. Reread the sentence silently and see if you can spot a cognate, definition, or example that tells us the meaning of the word lethargic. Ready? The answer is B, a definition. Do you see it? The definition of lethargic is right here in the sentence. It is unusually tired and able to move around. That is the context clue that tells us the meaning. We know the answer is not cognate because while some words in the sentence are similar to words in other languages, none of them are a cognate that tells us the definition of lethargic. And finally, we know that it can't be C an example because we don't see any examples in the sentence of being lethargic. We only see the definition, so the answer has to be B. We have finished studying context clues for today. I hope this video helped you learn and understand the types of context clues and how to use them to understand word meanings as you read. Thank you for watching.